52. The Jerry Ryan Show, Monday to Friday, 9 till 12 on 2FM. Now, Sinead, good morning to you. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. Now, Sinead, what height are you? I am almost 5'2". I'm 5'7". Probably seven. That would make you 5'1", wouldn't it? Yeah, sorry, 5'1", 7, yeah. <laughs> now, um, you're 27 years of age. Yes. And uh, I can tell by your tone of voice that you're a sharp, bright woman. Yes. And why are you upset? Um, well, Jerry, it's quite, well, it's not recently, but everything seems to be coming to a head the older I get. Um, I have never been treated like a woman, even though I am a woman. People treat me differently. They talk to me differently. It's very patronizing and rude the way they address me or or treat me in shops or establishments or where I work, for instance, as well. Why, just how due do you, to my height. Due to your height. Then what way do they treat you? I mean, is it like patting you on the head, that kind of thing? Yeah, literally, um, I'm a waitress. And just this weekend, um, I was serving a table. And as I was up at the bar clearing some glasses, um, the gentleman that I was serving came up, patted me on my head and said, thanks very much, you're a good wee girl. Thanks very much, you're a good wee girl. Yes. And would you mind if I I rested my pint on your head? (laughs) It was almost like that, Jerry, and I I was raging. I had had to just bite my tongue and walk away because if I had been in a, maybe in a different situation where I wasn't working and if I wasn't trying to be professional in my, in my workplace, then I would have been able to say something, but I just felt that I, I couldn't at that point. It's incredible, really, that people uh, seem to think, and I don't, is this another uniquely Irish thing along with our alcohol consumption? Is, we seem to see there's no, we seem to believe that there's no harm in commenting upon people's physical appearance. Yeah, and I suppose, and when I do point it out to people that it's, that it's not nice, I don't like it, and it is slightly patronising, the de- general response is that they didn't mean it, and it, they didn't mean it to come across that way, and that's fair enough, I completely understand that. And I know they don't mean it, but, like, you would never turn up to, like, a slightly larger person and say, oh, my God, you're quite, you know, squidgy around the edges or, you know, don't you have, like, a little bit of slab going on there? Like, you would never say it to a bigger person. I mean, imagine somebody saying, oh, thanks for the coffee. Well done, Fatso, by the way. You got that very quickly. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. But because... Imagine if you said that. (laughs) Imagine if you said that to somebody. (laughs) Well, apart from having your head kicked in, probably, (laughs) the guards would be called. That's it, that's it. So, yes, so I get it every single day. I mean, how how virulent is this? I mean, do you get it on a a regular basis or is it something that just happens occasionally? No, at least probably three times a week there's always something being commented about my height or I'm... It's not even petite or slim, it's skinny and it's short or I'm a midget, you know, like real, real derogatory kind of terms that they're using for my height. And I'm treated differently. As and what, what is the technical height of a midget? I have no idea. People, I, I, I guess it's just because I'm, I'm smaller than most people. Well, I'll and tell you something, if it's yet. any consolation, I'm 5 foot 11, right? Okay. Yeah. I meet people who are about your height, right? Yeah. And they're looking up at me. That's 10 inches below me, right? <laughs> Think of yeah. 10 inches. They're looking up at me and they go, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Is that your own hair? <laughs> I've had people come up behind me, pull my hair. Oh, it's real. Uh, the Irish, I don't know what it is. I actually don't think they mean any harm when they're no, doing it. No. But it would be nice not to try to defend myself. On a, on a daily basis. Well, how do we deal with this? What do we do? Do you get a little sign saying, please do not comment on my height? Where would you put it? On the top of your head? Yeah, or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, it would be nice for people listening out there. Like, you know, it's, it's fair enough to have these thoughts in your head, but try and think about what you're saying before you say it. Oh, yeah, because you'll, be nice. you'll never yeah. stop people thinking thoughts. Yeah. And we're not in the yeah, business yeah. of doing that. But it would be nice if people would afford, people like yeah. yourself, a little bit of personal space. That's really what you're asking for, isn't it? Yeah, or a little bit of respect. I, I've never been called a woman or a lady. Every time I go into a little shop girl. or anywhere, it's little girl, young girl. Um, 
and the way they treat me as well like as my friends are the same age as me but when we're in a shop or something they get complete total respect as adults whereas I'm still treated as a young teenager or something which even being a young teenager you should still get respect and do, you, do you look I, do you look like a little girl um I do look young for my age, yes. God, we yes. cherish that. There's one side of this story maybe that you don't realise is that there are a lot of women listening who would actually buy your problem if that's the case. But I do... Perhaps, yeah. yeah. I do understand though what you're saying about the height thing. You should not be subjected to gratuitous observation. Yeah. Particularly by people who probably look like Yoda from Star Wars <laughs> making these comments to you. That's the thing that always yeah. fascinates me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Generally, it is really quite tall people who who would really comment on it, and I'm sure they get it all the time. Like, how's the weather up there? Or you know, is oh, it raining yeah, yeah. where you are? Yeah. And I guess they, I, I know that they hate it too. So why would they comment on the, the extreme opposite to them? Okay, hold on a second. Here's some technical information uh, that may cheer you up. Are you ready, Jer? Good morning. Good morning. Um, the official statistic for, or the official cutoff point for a midget? Four foot eight. Four foot eight. Yeah. So Sinead, you are technically you're technically not a midget. No, that's good to know. I'm you're, four ten and a half. You're what? So what? I'm, you're not a midget either, then, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not, and I'm just about allowed to sit in the front of a car. <laughs> you're just. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I can drive it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! You've both cheered me up. Do you know that? <laughs> And we're gorgeous. I know, I'm sure you're gorgeous. <laughs> and the, you know what they say, some of the best package, of the best packages come in tiny parcels. Yeah, All right. So. Oh, lovely. I love it. Uh, stay with us, both of you, there for a second, will you? Bernie, good morning to you. How are you? Very good. Are you a midget? I am, and I'm five foot one. But ah, I get well, you're miles away. You're, you're not um, a midget at all. There's not a kick on you. Look at the height. You sure you wouldn't have any problem getting close to fit. You could be the opposite by times. But I wouldn't let yeah. it get to me. Do you know? I just say, ah. Oh. Well, Sinead's fed up with it, aren't you, Sinead? Oh, Sinead, just yeah. put up a sign in your restaurant saying there's good goods and small parcels. That's it, yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of that. I wouldn't let it get to me, chicken, honestly. The only thing is I say, like, tr- trousers and the likes, only Marks and Spencers now are covered in Ireland. So that's great, you know? You'd have to right. take four or five inches off a pair of trousers before. But yeah, that must be don't. quite difficult to get uh, clothes, particularly for you, Jared, four foot eight. Junior, I'm miss. Four foot ten and a half. Oh, sorry, four foot ten. <laughs> sorry, four foot eight is the official <laughs> cut-off point for midgets, <laughs> sorry. No, I don't. I find it fine because I'm, well, I'm quite slim, so I don't have a problem. Junior, now, what, miss. Sorry, I'm just trying to visualise what four foot ten is. Would you be bigger than an Oompa Loompa? Oh, and you're not green. No, blue, blue. Lumpa are blue, Jerry. No, yeah. the new Oompa Lumpas are blue. I don't agree with the new Oompa Lumpas. The ones in Johnny Depp's movie. No the ones way. No, the ones in, in Gene Wilder, they were blue. Were they? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. What colour were the Oompa Loompas? What? Blue. Somebody's trying to get through. Orange, orange originally is what they're saying outside. Oh, they were orange, I thought they were blue. How did we get on to that? You asked me, did I look like one? Oh, sorry, yeah. Well, obviously you don't. That'd be no, terrible. I... Imagine if you looked like an umpa lumpa. And my husband is over six foot. Um, is he? Yeah. That must be very interesting. Very. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, Jerry, but I better hold my tongue. But you, probably, you, prob- you probably only come up to his belt. Uh, no, I actually come up off his shoulder. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well done. Well With done. my stilts. Which are still. <laughs> well, do you know one thing that you're all presenting? And that's a sense of humour. And if you don't have that, you're banjo, don't uh, you? You wouldn't want to be thinking about it too much, Jerry. No, you you like that. <laughs> all right, so we put the message out today, Sinead, kicked Small off by you. Small is beautiful. Small is beautiful. And please, if you have a comment, keep it to yourself. That's exactly or it. Or as Jack Jerry. Cruz Thank used you. to say, if you have nothing good to say, say nothing at all. Say nothing at all. That's it. Good now. morning. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Oompa loompa dippity. Susan, good morning to you. Good morning, Jerry. How's it going? Very good. <clears throat> yeah, um, my nine year old son <clears throat> is taller than me. And what size, what, ta- what height are you? I'm just five foot one. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're not, te- you're not technically um, a dwarf then. I hope not. I have small fingers. <laughs> have you? Yeah. 
How no, small? Not, I, I would be petite, you know, and uh, I've never had anyone saying anything to me now. I've never had a problem. Well, Susan seems to get it every day. No, well, I was, now, last year was the only time, really, when he was making his communion. Mm. A couple of the teachers said to me, they were, he was the only child they knew that would be taller than his mother at the communion. And he was. I had to wear a pair of heels and have my hair blow dried real high and everything. <laughs> 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 Freak. <laughs> but, um, yeah, How tall is his da? Six foot three. Mother of God. I go up to about his elbow. And when I was pregnant, I was just huge. And I walked into the kitchen one day in my bare feet. And he says to me, oh, Jesus, please put a pair of shoes on you. <laughs> it was like a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> up to his elbow, I come. Up to his elbow? Yeah, yeah. Just just over his elbow, I come. It depends now, you know. I'm just trying to think. That, that must be interesting, yeah. Yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> we were at a wedding the weekend and my arms were killing me from dancing. <laughs> the old slur slow dancing you know yourself <laughs> All right. but um, no if I go walking or anything I drop um, my son's tracksuit bottoms and they'd yeah. be kind of you know what I mean they'd be fine yeah. yeah yeah yeah. sure he doesn't care what height they're sure. yeah, yeah. small fry they call me small fry so they I do, do call like, you things yeah. yeah well that's it your kids like I have yeah. two, two boys and uh, do a fella now he's three and he's about up to me because usually most women it's about usually around 15 or 16 when they're beginning to sort of end up looking straight at their teenage boys in the eye and then that moment (laughs) I've certainly seen it happen with my boys and their mother that moment when they pass out mum that must be very strange for a woman that, you know, when, you know, and you're still trying to exert authority over a fellow who's got a big booming voice now and he's standing over you. Yeah, and of course, yeah. you experienced it at nine years of age. Nine, yeah. <laughs> From the time he was about, uh, he was about five, he just kind of, like he's in a size seven shoe, you know, he's a really big lad, like, yeah. and a couple of weeks ago he went to give me a hug and he floored me. I ended up with the doctor on tablets for me back and everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a big, huge lad, you know. <laughs> All right, good morning to you, All right, Susan. good morning, Jerry. Thank bye you, mate. Bye. Bye. Bernadette, good morning to you. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Very good. What's the politically correct term for a dwarf or a midget? You're not supposed to use those words at all anymore. Are you not? No. It's Who said that, Ber- though? It's just the world we live in. Now, you can't say anything. You have to even change the rhymes and everything. Just what about nice. Oompa Loompa? You're allowed to say Oompa Loompa. No, you're not. Oh. You have to say vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. challenged. Dibbidi. Dude, Day, that doesn't sound it. that doesn't yeah, sound right at all. Well, that's a nice way to put it. So, with the girl who works at me, telling me she's tiny, she's four foot eleven and a half. She's still not an oompa loompa, though. That's four foot eight. That's exactly yeah. She's just above us, <laughs> and we have great laughs over her size. And we we leave and say, "See you sh- shortly." Sorry, shorty, shortly. <laughs> <laughs> and she makes great laughs about herself, but she's tiny with a little size three foot. With a little size three foot. That is yeah. tiny, isn't it, Jack? She was going to borrow, uh, she was going to lend my nine year old daughter a pair of shoes for a show because we couldn't get them anywhere. And uh, she's 28. 28? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's very valuable information. Thank and you for a, that. She's a bubbly, small little person who's full of fun. Yeah, well, all, always the, all the Oompa Loompas are. All the Oompa yeah. Loompas are. Um, Bernadette, thanks very much. Good morning to you. Thank Nicola, you. good morning to you. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, are you an Oompa Loompa? Uh, no, but I'm not far off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm four foot eleven. Uh, no, no, you're not technically an open open, <laughs> that's four foot eight. So um, <laughs> tell, them, the, tell them what happened to you. Oh, well, there's been a couple of incidents. Um, one would have been when I first started to go out with my, uh, he's my husband now, um, it was my boyfriend at the time. I was thinking around 21. Yeah. We were in the hospital visiting his parents and we had his niece and nephew who were, God, they must have been eight, between eight and ten at the time. And we met their uh, granny, their granny from the other side, and she wouldn't have known me well at all. So she was handing the two kids a pound, and she thought that I was their friend, and she handed me a pound as well. <laughs> For your confirmation. <laughs> and the poor woman has never <laughs> lived it down. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Another instant was where, again, my husband's niece was making her confirmation. He was standing for, I think I was 22 at the time, yeah. and we were going into the church. The photographers were in the foot of the church, and uh, we were coming in. And I nearly knew when I was going, and I just said to my boyfriend at the time, I said, oh, God, I said, they're going to think that I'm making my confirmation. And we went in and said, oh, would you like to get your photograph taken? Because it's all I was making my confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> and would you get? Would you, did you get half price on the bus and things like that? Oh yeah, I would. In, on the train, I would have got half price on the train. Oh, got up on times about maybe eighteen. Yeah, that's good, though, isn't it? 
Yeah, like I would look, and I have a twin sister as well, and she's an, I have an identical twin sister, and we're both the same, and I mean... And would you both be exactly the same height as well, yeah? Yeah, we're the same height, identical. So, I mean, people would see us, and like, we have, I have one child, and my sister has three, and they like, they look as if they say, you're too young to have children. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it, I think it's great, because it makes me look... It makes me feel younger than I yeah, look. Yeah, well, that younger. certainly seems to be the case oh, with some yeah, of the people that we were that. talking to earlier on. And it's yeah. a complaint that a lot of people would be quite happy to live with. Definitely. All right, Nicola, thank you for that. Um, here's a text from 51552. Jerry, I'm a red blooded male. I don't really know what this means, but I'll read it out anyway. I'm a red blooded male, and there's nothing wrong with five foot one. I would treat her as a woman. What else would you treat her as? What? Um, I asked the question earlier on when we were talking about dwarfism or midgets or oompa loompas and don't forget of course the munchkins uh, we asked you what have you pretended to uh, be or what um, excuse or what concoction have you contrived to try and get something for half price or to uh, get something for free or to get in somewhere because we had one woman um, who described uh, her aunt who uh, used to dress she was very very short used to dress in pigtails and ribbons to get half price on the train Sylvia good morning good morning Jerry. how are you not too bad. Now, tell them what you used to do. Um, years ago in um, Carnell Street, there was um, a cinema called The Virgin then, and they used to let uh, the odd deaf person go in uh, to watch the film free. And um, what we used to do was we got wind of this, and uh, I used to go in and uh, use my sign language and talk to the cashier as if I couldn't talk. And did and you know sign language? Yes, I did, yeah. Yeah, and um, I, I I wouldn't use my voice, and I would talk to her, and she'd say, oh, go on, get in, and you go in free. And, and did she know sign language herself, do you think? She didn't know. She hadn't a clue. No, she hadn't a clue. And um, my husband then, um, I used to get him in free as well, and he used to be mortified and say, don't do this to me anymore. <laughs> my friends, my, my signs and whatever. And then I, I just got carried away, and I, I got a few people in as well. Like a a, de- a group of allegedly, but not actually deaf people. No, they weren't actually deaf, but we got with <laughs> <famous>. it. <laughs> so. Well, of course, that's morally reprehensible what you did, but very clever. Very clever. <laughs> very clever. And tell me, do you mind me uh, asking how you knew sign language? Um, I was involved uh, with the deaf community. Um, you were involved with the deaf community. That makes it even worse, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse, you abused your position to get in free into the cinema. That makes you an honorary member of the Jerry Ryan Show. <laughs> All right, good morning. <laughs> now, did you know there's an organisation in the United States dedicated to helping and supporting um, dwarfs? They're called the Little People of America. And uh, they have their own website. I have it here. Um, and they have frequently asked questions as to, you know, what... The, uh, the average height, for instance, of an adult with dwarfism, it's four foot apparently, but typical heights can range from between 2.8 uh, to 4.8. And it gives you all the actual technical um, terminology and all the, the uh, scientific reasons for the creation of uh, dwarfs are indeed somebody of small stature. And uh, it makes fascinating reason, reading. For instance, one question here, what is a midget? In some circles, a midget is a term used for a proportionate dwarf. However, the term has fallen into disfavour and is considered offensive by most people of short statage, stature. The term dates back to 1865, believe it or not. The height um, of the freak show era was generally applied only to short statured persons who were displayed for public amusement which is why it is considered so unacceptable today. Such terms as dwarf, little person, LP and person of short stature are all acceptable. So dwarf is acceptable. Yeah, dwarf is acceptable, but midget not. Most people would rather be referred to by their name than by a label. Well, that's true. That's for sure. Now, um, Ron, good morning to you. Good morning, Jerry. Audrey Hepburn. Well, I made a mistake this morning by saying that uh, we thought that she was four foot ten. No, no, not at all. Five foot seven, apparently. That's right, because she was too de- too tall, if I remember rightly, to actually proceed with her, a professional career in ballet. Oh, that's of course. That's what she wanted to be originally, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And uh, she was, uh, I think now they're a little bit more flexible, um, but 
certainly in those days you had to be on the shorter side of normal. Um, my wife, actually, um, she was uh, trained to do ballet. She's five foot one. She didn't go professionally into it, uh, but um, she... Um, that makes I, her the same height as Kylie Minogue. Yes, 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 that's about right. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I, think, uh, I think she's probably being a little bit generous when she says five foot one. <laughs> but um, I- I- in line with a lot of your callers today, um, you know, we look a bit of an odd couple sometimes because I'm uh, nearly six foot two. Oh, boys, that's quite uh, a difference, isn't it? Uh, so there's quite a bit. In actual fact, there is a problem because now that I'm getting older, I'm sort of 53, and um, I, I find that the, the hearing isn't quite as good as it used to be. And when we're walking around town and she's talking to me, I'm finding that I'm stooping over. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I have to sort of straighten myself up every now and again. <laughs> so she has to speak up. Yes, yes. Or you have to bend over. Uh, uh, yes, it's usually <laughs> down to me to bend over. So uh, there, there, there are physical problems there. <laughs> now, just to, uh, on a point of interest, you're ringing from Luton in the United Kingdom. I am, yes. Are you listening online, Ron? Uh, I'm listening through... Well, I usually listen online, but today uh, my internet connection isn't uh, behaving itself, so I'm listening through the Skybox. Oh, good. Very good. Excellent. Well, we welcome anybody online or anybody listening on Sky. Our international audience always very welcome indeed. Ron, thank you very much. Good morning to you. Not a problem. God bless. Bye-bye. Julie, good morning to you. Hello, Julie. Hello, Jerry. How are you? That's, that's, you're very low there, Julie. What do you get? You're very low. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear me? (laughs) Yeah, just about. Yeah. Okay. Hiya. That's better. Um, I was, um, I'm only four foot ten and, uh, like that first caller earlier this morning. Um, I've had my downfalls and my great, great fun out of, um, playing out of my height. Playing it up, um, as it were. Yeah. A couple of things that come to mind is, um, when I was a teenager going to discos, um, I always had to carry ID because of my height. And, uh, the bouncers got to know me. In, I used to go to, will I name the places? Yes, of course. You can. Yeah, Bechtif and uh, Wesley there in Donnybrook, and I'm sure you, you and many of your listeners know about it. Of course, yeah. And uh, the bouncers got to know it, and they uh, finally got me, uh, one day got me a little uh, fruit crate box, and as I walked in the door, they handed it to me, and they said, here you are, now go and find yourself a nice tall guy. <laughs> Um, all my friends used to um, find the biggest fella they could in the dance hall, bring him over to me, and God love me, used to um, be mortified da- uh, dancing with someone as small as I was, and am, and, um, and uh, he was tall. Now I'd only go up to his chest, sometimes his waist, depending on the height of the poor guy. Sometimes his waist? Yeah. But that must have been terribly embarrassing, was it? Uh, not really. I got a great laugh out of it, and actually, in the end, the guys did too. So we did. Did you ever uh, pull a guy, did you? No, I wouldn't do that. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know uh, the girls, all the gang used to do that. I wouldn't do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're right, yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing that comes to mind was when I was um, working, um, I got half fo- half price bus fare up to the time I was 21. Goodness. And um, my 21st birthday, the uh, bus conductor turned around and said to me, um, oh, come on, you must be 16 by now. And I roared laughing. And he says to me, uh, I said to him, no, I said, I'm 21 today. And uh, he couldn't believe it. So um, he let me away that day with half price bus fare. But after that, I had to pay the full whack. After that, you had to pay the full whack. And did you end up with a fella, did you? Oh, yeah, I'm happily married now. Oh, very good. And how tall is your fella now? He's about uh, five five. Five five. He's not too bad then, but not he's still a good bad, bit taller no. than you, though, isn't no. he? <laughs> yeah, still quite tall compared to you. Yeah. And, and do you find it difficult to get clothes to fit you? I do. Um, I have to go into petite sections all the time. Yeah. Um, otherwise, um, if I buy other clothes, I have to uh, take the bottoms off them. And do you find, Julie, really, the people refer to your short stature? No. No. No, because um, I'm a, this type of person that, uh, well, good goods come in small parcels. And oh, well, that's, that's what I'm, point I'm trying to make to people, small people out there. Uh, my wedding shoes are only two and a half. Size two and a half? Yeah. That's small, isn't it? Isn't it? Very small. Tiny. Now, tiny. 
I had to get them specially made. Wow. And I got them made up in Drogheda, and the guys up there thought it was, they couldn't believe mm. um, how small the feet. Yeah. And even now, I have to buy a size three shoe and put an insole in. That's fascinating. All right, Julie, thank you very much for that. That's very interesting, isn't it? Jackie, good morning to you. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? I'm very good. You're the polar opposite of what Randy Newman was singing about. I am indeed. I am indeed. I can't believe I'm ringing you yet again to discuss this. But anyway, um, I was listening to the ladies this morning and they brought a smile to my face because, um, you know, they all sounded cheerful and happy at the end of the day. But the one thing I observed is that at four foot ten or five foot or five foot one, that they're all with guys that are six foot and six foot two and all the rest. So in my stocking feet, I probably am six foot two. So I've experienced it from the fine big woman category of comments all my life. Oh, you're joking. Fine big, <laughs> they don't call you that. Fine big woman. Well, Gee, you're a fine Jerry. big woman, aren't you? <laughs> so I think we just stereo. We, we, we put people into categories, you know. We, we describe them, the wee little woman or the big woman or whatever, you know. it's just. What do you say when somebody says something like you're a fine oh, big Jerry, woman? Oh, Jerry, I just smile at this stage. I'm f- I'm 41 next month, so I mean, if you can't be happy in your own skin at this stage. Um, I worked for my sins for the IFA for a couple of years, and there's nobody like a farmer to describe a woman. <laughs> so I think I've heard all the comments over the years. What's the maddest thing that's ever been said about you? Oh, gosh. Uh, you know, Jerry, I can't think off the top of my head. I probably thought all morning about it. Even yesterday morning, I'm a rep, and I was in on a call, and the store manager said to me when I went in, he said, how are you today, Jackie? And I said, I'm great, thanks. And the customer going out the door said, she's looking fine anyway. <laughs> she's looking fine anyway. That's a good thing to have said about you, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, you, yeah, I'm sure it is. But a lot of people look down, Jerry, to see you standing on something or <laughs> if you have four <laughs> inches on. <laughs> Which I think is quite funny. But um, at the end of the day, what can you do? You have to be happy with yourself. I do think in this country, well, I suppose it's human nature everywhere. If you put um, a girl of five foot with a guy who's six foot tall, mm-hmm. nobody really notices. But if you put a girl who's six foot two with a guy who's five foot ten, they all look, you know, if you put a guy who's 60 with a woman of 30, well, nobody really looks. But if you put a woman of 50 with a young guy of 30, you know, (laughs) you know, we just, I don't know, people do, you know, they stop and stare if you're a little different in shape or size or, you know, whatever. But anyway, I just, I uh, I, I, uh, rang your researcher because I was smiling in the car listening to all these ladies I know, but you know, there's a lot of, a lot of short people around. I'm going to give a list now in the moment, a lot of famous short people. You're one of the less famous tall people, but your fame (laughs) is increasing by your ever increasing appearances on the Jerry Ryan show. All right, Jackie, good morning (laughs) to you. Um, Here we go. Here's a good list we got here. Um, Do I recognise any of them? Aristotle Onassis, he was only five foot five. Uh, Joe Pesci, he's five foot five too. Lou Reed, only five foot five. Renny Zellweger, five foot five. George Babyface Nelson, he was an American gangster. He's only five foot four. Um, Alan Ladd, notoriously short. Um, uh, in fact, they used to have to dig a trench for his uh, his leading ladies so that they would walk a foot or so below him. In some cases, um, let's see who else. Barbara Streisand, she's five foot four. Uh, Bridget Bardot, also five foot four. Queen Elizabeth, not much taller, five foot four. Uh, Michael J. Fox, tiny little fella, five foot four. Um, Scarlett Johansson, she's only five foot four. Uh, let's see, well, Sammy Davis Jr., he was tiny, five foot three. Uh, Madonna's only five foot four. Sarah Jessica Parker from Sex and the City, she's five foot four. Um, Mahatma Gandhi was only five foot three in his nappy. Um, King Hussein of Jordan, he was five foot three. Uh, Khrushchev, he was five foot three. Uh, let's see, Prince, he's only five two. Um, Paula Abdul, the famous choreographer, and I think she's on American Idol as well, isn't she? Paula Abdul, I think so. She's five foot. Um, let's see who else. Dudley Moore, remember poor old Dudley Moore, Lord dressed his soul of Arthur fame. He was only five foot two. Paul Simon's five foot two as well. Um, of Simon and Garfunkel. <sighs> Carrie Fisher, Princess Leah from Star Wars. Tiny, five foot one. Um, she was married, by the way, at one stage in her life to Paul Simon, so they fitted well together. Bette Midler, only five foot one. Kylie Minogue, five foot one. 
Danny DeVito, he's only five foot. Uh, Dolly Parton, five foot. Uh, Queen Victoria, she was only five foot tall. Um, let's see, um, who else? I should recognise some of these people have never heard of them before. Mm-hmm. Let's see, General Tom Tom, remember him? Um, he was the star of P.T. Barnum's uh, when he was two foot tall. His real name was Charles Stratton, and that's where that little Tom Tom thing comes from. Yep, some good websites dedicated to this stuff too. That's where we're getting the information from.